Good afternoon, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Um, so the other day I got my good molecules in the mail. Oh, it doesn't say where it goes, but it's tiny. Anyway, I got my good molecule products in the mail. I'll go through and show you what I got. So the first one is I got, and I'm going to butcher this. It's niacinamide brightening toner. It's formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores, which I have a huge problem with. Sorry, I know my nose ring looks like I've got a booger in my nose, but I don't. So this is the box. I forgot to grab um, cotton balls, so we're just going to put this on with my hands. And then I also have the serum that goes to that because they came in a bundle, although I didn't buy the bundle, but you could get them as a bundle, so I was bringing it together. And this is formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine skin texture and minimize pores, which my texture is awful. My, you can see my skin tone itself is terrible. Um, I've also been using Curology, and I thought I had my lotion over here, but I don't, so that's okay. I was going to put my Curology moisturizer on, but I guess I'm not. Okay, um, and I also got Super Peptide Serum. This is supposed to, it's formulated with tripeptides, so three different peptides, to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness, which this uneven skin tone brings lots of dullness. Also, my chest has been breaking out a little, so I was hoping some of these would help my chest because they're supposed to help pores, like shrink the pores so that not as much gunk gets into them so that you're not getting um, as many breakouts. And also, when I wear foundation, my pores look enormous. I've tried every primer in the world to try to make them look smaller. It just ain't working for me. I did, Ipsy did send me this um, BB primer though that I've been using and I actually kind of like it because it does help my makeup go on smoother which makes my skin look smoother and I used Il Maquillage and the Fora foundations I'll you know swap back and forth or sometimes I use both depends on what kind of mood I'm in um so yeah and then I got my hyaluronic acid serum because I was running out of the one I had that I get out of the vitamin section at the store and it was only six bucks so I was like what the hell I need it anyways Okay, so, and I always, always use vitamin C, which, okay, I can't say always, always. I just started trying to take care of my skin better because I'm getting older, okay? My wrinkles are getting terrible. They especially get into my makeup and make me look older, so I'm trying to reverse these signs without getting Botox because that shit's too expensive. I can't afford that. I think I spent like $36 total on this stuff, so I'm on my break from work. I came home and put, um, and washed my face real quick, and then I steamed my face, okay, because I wanted to open my pores to get this stuff into it, so yeah, that's what I did, and I don't only use this stuff on my face and neck and chest. I use it wherever I feel like it. Now, I've only been using it a couple days, so I will be doing some update videos, like at week two, week three, et cetera, et cetera, because I want to see improvement, and I want the world to see if it improves or not. Okay. Well, not the world, but the five people that watch my videos occasionally. <laughs> okay, so here's the toner. I'm just putting it in my hand because I don't have... Cotton ball right here next to me. Okay. And this is not greasy at all, actually. It just kind of feels like you're putting water on. 
And then I, you know, they say you're supposed to do this to work it in your skin. I had one of those micro needling rollers. It's not really needles, but it's supposed to like push all this in your skin. And I can't find that dang thing anywhere. So I don't know where it's at right now. I might, I'm probably just gonna have to get another one. Look everywhere for it. And then I also use, I keep this in the freezer because you're supposed to, um, it's supposed to like depuff your face and everything. You, I think you're supposed to use it first thing in the morning, but I use it after, every time after I wash my face because I keep it in the freezer, it's cold to help close my pores up. Okay, so I use the niacinamide brightening toner first. That's what I just put on my face. Now I'm gonna go with the niacinamide serum. I'm probably butchering this. So if anybody knows the right way to say it, please tell me. About like an hour and a half before kids get home from school. And I had nothing going on right now in the background. It was so quiet. I do not own the rights to this music. I'm just gonna find some music to play in the background. Y'all might not even be able to hear it, but I'll hear it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm all country girl, so I listen to my country music. My boss comes into my work and changes the country station all the time. She's only there like once every two weeks. I don't know why she's asking me to come in and change our station. The customers love it. We are we live in the country. This is what we do. We listen to country music. Okay. So I'm Nickelodeon right now because my kids love this before they go to bed at night. Damn. So how's everybody's Tuesday going? So far, mine's going good. Work's been good. Last week, we were so dead because it was spring break for everybody. Um, so we had like hardly no customers, but then Thursday and Friday, it picked up again. Saturday was okay. Um, but today, it picked back up. We're back to normal. Thank God. Waitressing is hard sometimes because... When you're dead, you're not making money. You don't get it. You know, our paychecks are like a hundred bucks. So our money is our tips. And when we're dead, we ain't getting tips, obviously. All right. Now, don't forget, this is the niacinamide serum. Um, I use a dry, I use, oh my God, what is it? L'Oreal face wash. I use like four different face washes, but the one I use every single time I wash my face is um, L'Oreal's Glycilic Acid, and it's like supposed to be a prep for serum, but it's really supposed to help even out your skin too. Um, I got off track earlier, got off topic earlier about, I'm 35 now, and I've just started recently taking care of my skin, probably in the last seven, eight months, really started to take care of it. I was, I've was i been using moisturizers for the past couple of years, but that's just not doing it. I have to go deeper. So that's why I've been looking into all of these um, serums and things like this that are really supposed to help your skin. What I need to do is drink more water. I've been also been taking vitamins, collagen vitamins, especially because like, you can't just put collagen on your face and expect it to work. You've got to kind of do that from the inside. But you're supposed to mix it with some other vitamins also to really give it that extra boost like palme saw palmetto or palmetto saw. And, um, oh, my God, what's the other one? Amino acids, I think, which I cannot find that anywhere. Oh, this is the super peptide serum. And this is for the fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm going to put it around my mouth. Oh, I don't have one of those headband things. Um, around my eyes, around right here, my forehead, and of course my neck and chest because I've been out in the sun my whole life. 
So of course I'm gonna twinkle faster on my set more and I because I never used sunscreen my whole life. I still don't. I do on my face a tad bit, but that's it. This stuff is so nice. It's not greasy. It's just soft and oh, it's beautiful. It's got to dry. I know it might look a little greasy, but it's just got to dry. So this was the Super Peptide Serum. This is for the dullness also. Like I need to brighten up this dull skin. And I thank God when I put makeup on, I don't need sunscreen. All right. Now we are going to do the hyaluronic acid. I try to kind of let them dry a little in between. I really wish I had that micro roller thing. So, I like I said, I've been using these for a few days now. When did I get it? Friday, I think. I think it came in the mail Friday. Today's Tuesday. Um, I've been using it every day, twice a day, mostly twice a day. Now, this is the hyaluronic acid. Look. It looks like greasy, but it's just nice. It's really nice. You know what this is also good for? To put on with your lotion on your body to help that lotion keep your your body moisturized because hyaluronic acid is a moisturizer. Um, don't let the word acid fool you. It's not going to burn your skin or dry your skin out or anything like that. It's actually so... I've been using hyaluronic acid the past six months every day and I like to use it my hands get old looking real fast because I've got them in dishwater all the time plus I'm a smoker so of course my skin loses it it's elasticity quicker than somebody who doesn't smoke um yep I love to use it on my arms and my hands I used to have super dry hands but since I've been doing this with my hand lotion they're so much nicer they're not like they were all dry and cracked along my thumbs and fingers, which is really weird. I don't know why, but since I've been using this, they haven't been. All right, so I've used all of those. I'm going to let it dry for a minute. I've got to use my vitamin C. I'm almost out. I've got to get more because I have these new scars from where I popped some pimples. I know I'm not supposed to do that. Bad, bad, bad. But it helps the healing process for sure. I'm almost out, right? Okay. It's supposed to help with the discoloration of the skin. It definitely helps the healing process. Because even my poor little 10 year old daughter, her face breaks out so bad, her forehead. And I used that on her, and it healed up in a matter of two or three days. She, like, her whole entire forehead was just bump, bump, bump. It break, broke out so bad. So I got her face washed. I got her, um, this one stuff. It's, a cream you put on. Oh my god, I wish I could remember the name of it. <sighs> Differin. Oh, at a deep a dappling gel. But Differin puts out a gel for it. And that's what I gave her to use. It's supposed to be like a spot zit spot treatment. So I got her some clear self clear self base wash and the adapaline gel. And then every night I, and every morning I would put this on her before bed and before school. And I swear, within three days, her forehead was clear. That's who I should put on here, is her, when her face gets broke out. Because I don't let her pick and stuff. See, I went through my whole teenage years picking. And I get on to her for picking because I don't want her to ruin her skin like I ruined mine. Look at these bags. Whoa, I never noticed those bags before. Well, hopefully, those good molecules will do its job. And get rid of all that stuff, huh? Oh, and I love this Chapstick brand Total Hydration. It's for aging. 100% natural lip care, soothing vanilla. Um. Anyways, on the package it says anti-aging or for aging, something like that. But it's got like these little, um. it's kind of got a little grittiness to it. And my lips used to stay so dry. I've been addicted to chapstick since I was like 14. And so I always have to have chapstick on. But since I've been using this, I probably put it on four times a day versus 24 times a day. It's made a huge difference. 
and not only that, but I use my City Beauty City Lips. Um, it's got collagen and peptides and things like that in it, and it eats so freaking smooth. It's nice. Okay, so now I'm going to use my roller and just kind of close some pores up because I'm going to have to redo my makeup here soon. I came home and washed all the makeup off my face because I was sweating so bad. And I usually, when I get home from work in the afternoons, before I go back in the evening, I usually do wash my face. Um, I use a face wash with collagen and vitamin C in it. And then I use the L'Oreal, the glycerin acid one. And then I've got a Curology face wash. And I got a new one that Ipsy sent me. It's a Greek yogurt face wash. And that's the one I use to wash my makeup off. And then I'll use the collagen one. Or um, I used the collagen mixed with the glycolic acid today because I knew I was doing this, but I really wanted it nice and clean. And it kind of, I feel like the glycerin, glycerin, I can't say none of these damn words. That's too scientific. Anyways, but I feel like it kind of takes off that top layer of skin to prep for serum. Because it says, prep for serum on it. So I think that's what it does. But yeah, I put this in the freezer so it's nice and cold. And it helps close those pores up. And I'm hoping that it makes them look smaller. But, you know, it's hard to tell on yourself. I literally have to take pictures and go back and look. Okay. So, this is my Good Molecules review video. This stuff is super nice. Um, it's very hydrating. Like, very, very hydrating. Um, huge fan of that. So, I've got to put my moisturizers on now. I'm probably going to use my... my my skin tone evening it's like a, a super lightweight moisturizer that Ipsy sent me I actually really like it I usually use it in the morning before I put my makeup on after I use this stuff um, so that's what I'll put on my face again and then tonight before bed I'll use my Curology the face wash the cream and the moisturizer I know it's really bad to use all these products on my face but I need the stuff to work. So I figure, go big or go home. We're going to go big. All right, guys. Um, I'll do an update video for Good Molecules in like a week or two. And we'll see if there's any progress. And then I still need to do a review on my Ipsy bag. I still haven't used everything in it. Um, so I'll try to do that in the next few days, I hope. Um, it looks like when I get off work Saturday, I'll be going out of town, going back home to have Easter with my family, which is like a six hour drive just to turn right back around Sunday evening and come back. But I'm sure we'll have lots of adventures in the car with four kids and possibly my husband and I'll get to post some stupid, lame, funny, aggravating videos from that trip. All right, guys, have a good Tuesday and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.